Hey, in this creative exercise, we're going to be addressing stress as it lives in your life. Yeah. Um, so, a great researcher that I would highly recommend you look up, named Hans Selye, identified that under situations of stress, we have certain very predictable sets of response patterns in the body that are associated with, um, you know, the stimulation of adrenaline, which you know is sits sits on top of the kidneys, our adrenal glands sit on top of the kidneys, um, and that triggers the hypothalamus to release certain um, hormones, which trigger a certain um, engagement of our metabolism in a way. It, it shuts down digestion, it sends um, all the electrical power to our, our major muscle groups, and um, so we're ready to fight or fly or do whatever it is that we're going to do to confront the challenge. And um, there's there's a beautiful um, book out today by Robert Sapolsky, one of the leading researchers in the field, called Why Zebras Don't Get Ulcers. Hopefully I'll remember to put that in the links. Um, and he talks about this I irony. Remember in, in the section on Freud, I talked about how our subconscious layer is our animal layer, right? We have animal instincts and animal tendencies. But when animals have challenges in the wild, that's it. It happens. It's wild. And then it's over, right? And then they go back to licking themselves or they have a nap or, you know, they lie, to, lie still and recover. So animals, you know, they, they're like that. But with humans, we go around for days, weeks, months. Boop, boop, boop. What happened? Why did that happen to me? I wonder what's wrong with me. What? Why didn't he give me what I needed? What? Did, you know, like, how can I master? So there's this ongoingness that our mind puts on top of certain challenges. And that's where the ulcers come in, right? Because stress is notoriously associated with ulcers, uh, private worries. Um, so stress stimulates our adrenal glands to be aroused to meet the challenge. It increases our heart rate, our blood pressure, our breath rate, all kinds of blood pulse, all kinds of things happen um, so that we're ready. But then a lot of times what happens is we're just pissed, right? We're stuck in a situation of frustration. Let's say, uh, like I'm going to call out the nurses today. Let's say you're a nurse. Healthcare settings are just notoriously frustrating because standards are high. Nurses are left on the front line to accomplish like all the tasks that nobody else accomplished. Um, and they don't get all the attaboys that doctors do, but you know, they're, they're covering people and caring for people. So high standards, high pressure, um, not as great uh, financial rewards. And oftentimes they get uh, dumped on by the more prestige characters in the administration who can't take accountability for what they forgot to do or the details they neglected. Um, so somebody will tell a nurse, like, you should have thought of that, or I wish you'd do that, or, oh, by the way, get this, right? And the nurse just has to deal. So um, that ongoing challenge and frustration about what's mine, what's yours to do, da, 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 can leave people aroused, but with no place to vocalize it and no place to actually take an action that ends it. And that's the thing. Chronic stress creates chronic pressure on our organs. So we have to be able to adjust our mindsets. So my question to you is, how is stress playing a role in your life? There are two hints that I'm going to offer you to explore. One is, where am I chronically experiencing illness? Do I have a weak link in my system? You know, do I get depressed easily? Do I get afraid easily? Does my knee bother me? Do I feel stress in my shoulders and neck? Like I personally, like my shoulders start to go up, you know. Um, but, um, some people carry it in their lower back. When I feel stressed, where do I experience either pain or strain? So that's a hint. It's a hint. Um, the second is, what events seem to stress me out the most? And I want you to start with the most obvious, like I'm afraid to meet new people, or I'm afraid to tell my boss what I have to tell him, 
or um, I have to figure out all the finances for my company and nobody else can do it. Uh, I think my partner's cheating on me. These are st stressors, right? Uh, domestic abuse. Um, so start with the most obvious and then try and dive a little deeper. Is it that I feel I can't protect myself? Is it, fe do I feel that I'm not safe? What, you know, how, what's the deeper need that you can identify? All right, see if you can draw a picture of it. Good luck with this exercise, and I hope this supports you in identifying the sources of stress so that in our positive mindset course, we can master them. Take care.